Welcome back, everybody. I am the Jimmer. This is the Battle Wagon Smash. It's going to be episode 22, featuring the Oblivion by Flossy Lions, taking on the Land Battleship Utah by Ferrum 4. All the standard settings. It's going to go ahead and get this started. Uh, both these entries have already been introduced in previous videos, so if you want to see a more in depth look at each entry, and its armaments and uh, a little just a just a more thorough overview check out the uh, the first few episodes um, the titles all have the vehicle names in them so it should be easy to search for if you're curious this is the land of battleship Utah by Ferrum 4 and this right here is the Oblivion by Flossy Lions both entries really fantastic looking um, in different ways but so I gotta appreciate when uh, the uh, contestants put some time into making their designs look nice as well as be functional we get the avatar out of the way and it's unpaused with the battle started it's like a big alpha barrage from both sides oh looks like the uh, the broadside on the um, Battleship Utah went high. Big missile strike as well as lasers. You can see the lambs trying to cut into the missile strikes. So like we've got some fire fire ants moving in. Oh, that one getting taken out just before it got in range. Looks like these two are going to make it. Oh, getting taken out right at the last second. And it looks like just the one fire ant getting in here. And there you see the nuclear detonation against the side of the land Battleship Utah. See, we'll take a look at the damage once that smoke clears. Looks like the land battleship Utah able to take out most of the fire ants before they got there, but one did get its uh, suicide um, bomb in play. Let's go ahead and just do a quick pause right here. We'll take a look at both sides and see how they're doing overall. The Oblivion Team Oblivion at 89% and the Land Battleship Utah 86%. So very close overall, but the uh, the Oblivion itself is at um, 96%, whereas the Battleship Utah is down to 86%. Looks like mostly undamaged. Did it lose. I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't look like it really lost anything all that important. And let's take a peek here at the uh, land battleship Utah and see what kind of hole that fire ant put in the side. Oh yeah, you can see getting in there, damaging the lasers, and oh, looks like it uh, took out a steam engine as well. That could uh, be really troublesome. Looks like it has a backup engine on the other side, but it's going to be low power a little for at least for a while until it's able to repair. Overall, it looks like most of the weapon systems are still intact, though. So it should be able to start focusing that DACA down on the Oblivion. Let's get this unpaused, get the battle back underway. Looks like the Oblivion is going for rapid fire, low damage rounds, where the land battleship Utah. You know, more battleship style, slower volleys, but just absolutely devastating rounds. Wow, look at the explosion each time one of those shells lands, and they are landing in series now. Got that uh, range figured out and really starting to put holes in the oblivion. It's like another missile strike in its way over to the land battleship Utah really close battle overall 86 84 here's a return missile strike coming in against the oblivion it's like EMP the EMP doesn't appear to be affecting the oblivion it must have uh, some EMP protections in place It actually looks like the uh, shells from the land battleship are detonating against the shields and uh, not really doing a whole lot of damage now. It looks like the uh, 
the explosions had kind of taken out some of the nose, but uh, now just not really anything to damage in range. Looks like the battleship may be listing. Let's get over here and take a look. I can kind of follow this sh these shells coming in. Little itty bitty shells, but just so many of them. Yeah, it looks like they are stripping away the bow of the ship here. Looks like everything on the front just kind of held together with uh, fairy tales and pixie dust. Lots of repair bots though. Look how fast the uh, repairs are happening. It looks like the uh, land battleship Utah heading straight towards its opponent. Not the best, not the best strategy, as these uh, rear guns, which are still mostly intact, are unable to fire. Looks like the Oblivion is continually backing away, trying to stay at range, and uh, doing a really good job of uh, damaging with both the lasers as well as the APS guns. I think the, the Utah really needs to go into a broadside here and get those rear guns to bear. It was doing a decent amount of damage while the, uh, the cannon shells were landing. Looks like all the front facing guns have been taken out. Yeah, we're two minutes in. Looks like the battle has really shifted in favor of the Oblivion. Overall 89%. Land battleship down to 62%. Getting a lot of lag here. I'm not sure exactly what's causing all of it. it should, we should be running faster here. I guess there are quite a few shells in play, and then the lasers, as always, give me more lag than it seems like they should. Looks like the land of battleship Utah about to despawn. It's down very close to the 55%. Not quite there yet. But this is almost certainly a victory for the Oblivion by uh, Flossy Lions. So congratulations. Moving one step closer to that uh, grand prize. Staying up here in the, uh, the first bracket advancing to round three. And uh, condolences to Ferrum 4. Land Battleship Utah is a beautiful and effective ship, but I feel like it uh, got a little bit countered here by the uh, Oblivion. And uh, we'll see it again. It's just moving down to the secondary bracket, where I'm sure it uh, will cause uh, lots of headaches for the, content the, the contenders down there. 
give us just another minute. Wait for that uh, two damage to pop up, and then we'll call the end of the episode. Oh, recently pause it. Oh no, it's just uh, for whatever reason it says game pause up the top left corner when I bring up the interface. But uh, as you can see, we we are indeed uh, unpaused. And what what's going on? Is the Oblivion out of ammo? Oh, there we go. There is the uh, the two damaged. All right, so that's the end of the battle. Once again, congratulations to Floaty Lions. Moving on to the next round. Condolences to Ferrum Four. Uh, moving down to the second new bracket. That's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. If you did, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next episode.